so hi everyone welcome back to data science in your pocket and today we are talking about a very important research paper that is r0 that helps you train llms without any data yes you heard it right and this is quite based on very similar to gans if you have heard of it where you train a discriminator and generator model here also you train two models that compete with each other so in this short video i will be explaining you the entire paper and why it is revolutionary the big idea it is to train models smarter without human data which is cumbersome to create not no curated benchmarks or golden labels are required it is a self improving loop between two model roles hence you just initiate the feedback loop and eventually you don't need to provide any sort of data set and it is completely autonomous so there are two models that are involved in this entire framework one is a challenger invents new problems to confuse the solver rewarded when it generates questions that confuses the solver but does not break it so at times it should be able to answer at times it should not be able to answer this is a theory and in case of solver it attempts to solve the problem created by the challenger so the challenger creates problems that are confusing in nature and the solver tries to solve them and gets rewarded when it solves it correctly it is quite similar to gans as i already mentioned if you know there there is involvement of generator and discriminator in case of gans where generator creates fake samples and discriminator tries to evaluate which is fake and which is real here challenger creates a problem solver attempts the solutions and a co evolution training loop happens the training method is used grpo group relative policy optimization which doesn't use any sort of labeling and all i am not jumping into much detail of this reinforcement learning approach for now what how it works so basically uncertainty as a signal how the reward system works if the solver answers the question inconsistently the question is challenging that means you would be inputting the same question generated by the challenger multiple times and then check on the solver whether it is able to generate an output or not if it is able to generate output sometimes then it's a good question it should not be on the extreme ends whether it is getting solved every time and it is not just getting solved so it's either easy or whether it's too hard the such questions are getting filtered out pseudo labeling the labeling of the data the question that has been generated is based on majority vote that becomes a ground truth and difficulty filtering this is very important as mentioned earlier questions which have a 50% success rate with the solver that means if the solver is able to answer 5 out of 10 times the same question it is kept it is confusing question diversity check penalizes similar questions using blue score so if the challenger start producing similar type of questions it gets penalized too it's quite easy and they have introduced a reward system for both solver and challenger challenger generates questions the solver answers them this is tested for maths right now and given the results it looks quite promising on math benchmark they tried on some quen models where the improvements have been seen by 6 to 7 pointers also in terms of smaller models general reasoning and math, math benchmarks limitations and challenges it's quite important declining label quality pseudo label accuracy drops from 79 to 63% by iteration 3 domain limitation works best with maths only for now uh, for other domains we need to check out other things as well external validation still needs models like gpt4 to validate the results and model manual tuning like uh, defining the rewards penalty is required why it matters it matters the most to be very honest because no labels are required this is critical because when you train big models like llms gathering the data is the biggest challenge scalable training scale models without scaling data labeling budgets better pre training r0 acts as a better foundation before human data and autonomous development it is automatically improving the models too final thoughts it's not magic but it removes human from the loop which is very important and given generative ai expanding so fast i think this is a critical step now and this framework looks best right now it, it it has given great results for mathematics only but i think soon we should be getting some more results on it but the idea is quite interesting to be honest 
do try reading out the paper from tencent and i hope you enjoyed this short video thank you so much